Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new snapshot in town. 21W03A is the first snapshot of the year for the Caves and Cliffs update. My name is Sliced Lime. I'm here to bring you an overview of the technical changes in this version. If you're interested in the gameplay changes, I have a main video up for that as well. You'll find a link to that in the iCard on the video. This is a new format I'm experimenting with. Please let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments. Now, without further ado, let's get into the changes and let's start with servers and networking. If you were implementing a custom server, then you might have run into an issue where the server could not prevent a player from dismounting a vehicle. This was functionality used by some custom servers to run minigames, and that bug has been fixed in this snapshot. Let's move on to loot tables and a couple of bug fixes there as well. The type field in loot table number providers used to be optional and that changed a couple of snapshots ago. That has been fixed so it is once again optional. And the player sub predicate of entity underscore properties predicates only passed if the game mode was specified. That is also fixed. Let's talk about recipes. Some of the vanilla recipes have changed names that especially applies to many of the copper recipes. So if you have replacements for those in your data packs, then you will need to adjust accordingly. The unlock criteria for a whole bunch of different recipes have also changed in the vanilla files. That especially goes for the criteria for signs that have changed names. That generally shouldn't matter if you only replace the recipes, but if you have commands or other advancements that refer to the criteria specifically inside of those recipe unlock advancements, then you will have to update that. For custom worlds, there's continued fixes for issues with chunk rendering and other problems when the height limit is large, when the world height has been changed for customized worlds. There's also a new feature type in this version. It is Glow Lichen, responsible for spawning in the Glow Lichen in the vanilla cave systems. That feature has also been added to all of the overworld biomes. In addition to that, the values for the large dripstone feature have been tweaked. No other form of changes for this snapshot. Let's talk about some of the new types. Of course, the glow squid is a new entity type. It has a field in data that you might find interesting. Dark ticks remaining. This is used by the vanilla game to tick down when the squid has taken damage and thus is not emissive at that point, but can also be manipulated with commands. The glow item frame is a separate entity type that works like normal item frames. Functionality is shared, so for instance, the frame can be hidden, just like a normal item frame can. And finally, glowing signs, the glowing status of that is stored as a block state. So if you want to replace the sign, you will have to use a set block rather than a data command. For particles, a bug has been fixed where summoning dust or dust color transition particles would kick nearby players due to a networking error if you did it in multiplayer. There are also two new particles in this version. They are glow and glow squid ink. For resource packs, of course, there are new files for all of the added things in this version. But also, the model definitions for vines and for item frames have changed. Vines now sharing some commonalities with glow lichen, and item frames, of course, sharing some commonalities with glow item frames. One single tag change in this version, that is that the entity tag Axolotl Always Hostiles now by default contains glow squid. And those were the technical changes for Minecraft Snapshot 21W03A. Like I said, this split format is a little bit of an experiment from my side, hoping to make the viewer experience a little more focused. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments, please. But that will be all for today. My name is Slime. thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.